Hey everybody and first off Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you are all prepared for the big day and hopefully you haven't got too much Christmas shopping left to do. So this, I've been meaning to do this video for a little while. I wanted to review this gadget which has pretty much become an essential piece of kit for me. This is the Pegasus Pocket Power Box and as you can see it really is pocket sized. This thing has helped me um, manage my cables a lot better and it enables me just to have one power cable come into this box which then I have other cables split off to all the different gadgets. I didn't do an unboxing on it at the time but um, I'll talk about the different bits that comes with it. So let's get into the video. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the bell. First things first, I, I bought this pocket power box myself. Um, it's my own kit, it's not been uh, lent to me or you know, for, sent to me for a review. This is my own personal purchase. So, what you actually get is, I think they cost £179 from Altair Astro here in the UK, and you get this little box. It doesn't look much, and in fact when I opened it I was like, wow, I spent £179 on that. <laughs> Crikey. But, after a while, it really is a little bit of magic. You get so some, four, sorry, you get four uh, 2.1mm um, cables which they fit most Astro gadgets I mean they fit my Hypercam um, they fit my Pegasus Focus Cube and they actually fit the HEQ5 straight out the box so originally when I bought it I could it was it was plug and play I, I could you know plug everything in and then off, off I went but now I've got an EQ6R that is a separate cable that you need for that it also comes with a relative humidity and temperature sensor and you can buy those separately as well but in my box it came along with it. It comes with a USB cable. Now there is a computer program that you can download to monitor and control your pe uh, pocket power box as you go along. However you don't actually need to use the computer program, you can just plug it in and it will work on its own standalone. Okay so here you can see I've got my big refractor which is the Ascent, the Altair, so, sorry, Starwave Ascent 102ED and I've got the Pegasus Pocket Power Box attached. It's actually helped me to manage you know my cables a little bit better. So it's got the outputs the 12 volt outputs where you would put the 12 volt DC in it's got a sensor so that you know you can measure the environmental conditions got two dew heater outputs and you've also got a DSLR output as well at the moment I've only got two outputs attached and one goes to the back of my hypercam and one goes into the back of my Pegasus focus cube. It's kind of cool just having um, one sort of power cable going into the power box and then you know everything being powered from there one of those 12 volt outputs would be used for my mount so when I had um, a HEQ5 the cables that come with the Pegasus pocket power box fit that straight away but if you've got anything like an EQ6 which I now have I had to get a separate cable which had a slightly different fitting on the one end but I got that from Altair Astro, I got the pocket power box from Altair as well. Um, those guys are super helpful and they 
to help me find the correct connector for my mount. So, what can I say about this very, very useful little gadget? First off, it will keep your equipment safe. It can supply up to 10 amps of power, which I find is absolutely plenty for my Astro camera, my focus cube, and running my mount, which is a big, beefy um, EQ6R Pro. If you remember, I recently upgraded to that mount, so yeah, it's handled it fine. And it also powers the dew heaters at the same time, so no issues there. I did buy an, an extra power supply to make sure you know that it was beefy enough for the pa the Pegasus Pocket Power Box, but yeah, I've had no issues. This thing is also super light and quite small. It comes with a Velcro strip to enable you to sort of lash it to something, and you'll see that I've mounted it on the side and the front of my telescope. It also has something called like watchdog protection. If there's no response from the controller, it will automatically reset itself. And if you're going over 14 volts, it will automatically shut down. And it's got reverse polarity protection. I like all of these things because Astro gear is super expensive and the last thing you want is, you know, anything going wrong electrically because it can be absolutely disastrous. So we've got the four 12 volt DC outputs. Now I use this to power my hypercam, focus cube and the mount. We've also got a eight volt DSLR output, but if you wanna use that, you do have to buy something separately. And finally, we've got a sensor port, which is useful if you want to run the dew heaters automatically so they switch on on and off or, or by themselves and provide you know it auto tunes how much power that you want going to them and you've got a usb port so you can connect it to the computer so you can watch what it's doing and, and you know tweak settings but you don't have to you could literally just plug it in and it would handle it all by itself anyway Sometimes I connect it up to the computer, sometimes I don't, so it's great for travelling rigs um, and those that just want a lighter setup anyway. So, how has it helped me? I'll show you the computer program, um, but the main thing is I, I've cut down on cables but it also controls my dew heaters before I was using a separate dew controller powered by battery which I'd have to turn a knob to increase the power to the dew bands but this thing with the temperature sensor it works out when to switch your dew heaters on and how by you know how much power to supply them with and it just makes the whole thing a lot easier I haven't had any dew problems since using the pocket power box so I can happily say that it's managing it very very well. So let's move on to having a look at the control program. Okay so here we are with the Pegasus Astro pocket power box software and I've just switched on Astro photography tool and connected my camera so that we can get it drawing a little bit of power. So I've got the cooler running on my camera at the minute to take it down to minus 10 and at max we're drawing about 0.5 amps. This Pegasus Pocket Power Box can actually draw up to 10 amps so I have literally not even got close to that in any of my sessions and that's running the camera, the focus cube and also um, the dew heaters and the EQ6R Pro as well. Now auto dew is on at the minute so the dew heaters aren't on so for this purpose uh, this video I'm just going to put them to full just so that we can see how the power increases not a lot at all and our quad outputs are on and the DSLR output is off so we've got if we go to graphs sorry environmental graphs you can see how the temperature is slowly decreasing and that is because in my house at the moment my boiler is broken and I've just switched the fan heaters off so the house is cooling down. <laughs> 
apparently British Gas are going to come and repair it on Monday so keep your fingers crossed for me because it is getting chilly and we've got also a graph for relative humidity and these help it to sort of calculate when to switch the dew heaters on and off so I literally just leave it as auto dew normally and we've also got a graph for um, input and output so as you can see my vo input voltage is nice and steady which I should hope so because I've got a nice expensive chunky power supply to power this thing and this is a little bit bumpy at the minute and that's because I've just switched everything on and off just before the video started but it should start to even out and we've also got settings um, you can switch the LED indicator on and off if you want you can reboot it or and I have all outputs to on on startup but you could literally choose what you want there and there's just a little bit of info about the software and battery levels now this only is relevant if you are powering via battery I'm not so it, it always just stays at 50% so basically that's the software if I switch these off now and put auto due back on if it was to get cold enough the dew heaters would come on automatically now you can put have it as a ghost window so you can kind of have it overlaid on your astro capture software you can export the graphs and you can check for updates as well it's some pretty simple software to be honest and you know relatively self-explanatory but I always have it usually running when I'm doing my imaging run but you don't actually have to you know you you don't need to have it, the Pegasus pocket power box connected to a computer for it to function it can do it standalone So I just wanted to say thank you for your continued support through 2019. It's you guys that allow me to continue making these videos. Reviewing and testing is something I really enjoy and without your support I wouldn't be able to do it. So uh, thank you very much everybody and hopefully in 2020 I'll be back with some even better videos. Each video I make allows me to practice my techniques and get better so as always thanks for watching and bye for now